Today's top stories. Pope Benedict XVI today condemned the Holocaust, vowing to Israelis that the genocide of six million Jews by Nazi Germany would never be forgotten or denied. At a departure ceremony at Tel Aviv's airport, Pope Benedict said that his visit to the Yad Vashem Holocaust Memorial was one of the most solemn moments of his five-day pilgrimage. He said that the memorial had reminded him of his trip three years earlier to the death camp at Auschwitz, where so many Jews were brutally exterminated under a godless regime. He added, quote, that appalling chapter of history must never be forgotten or denied. In a statement marking the one-year anniversary of the detention of seven Baha'is in Iran, Human Rights Watch yesterday called on Iran to release them or bring them promptly to trial. Joe Stork, deputy director of the Middle East program at Human Rights Watch, said, quote, These Baha'i leaders have been languishing in prison for a year now, with no access to their lawyers and no glimmer of a trial date. They are accused of spying for Israel, insulting religious sanctities, and propaganda against the Islamic Republic. Ayatollah Mohammed Imam Kashani, a member of the Assembly of Experts who delivered Tehran's Friday sermons today, said in his second sermon that, quote, The unity, glory, and majesty of the Iranian nation is today apparent to all the world, and that because of this, the enemies of Islam, led by America and the Zionists, have sustained heavy blows and will carry the wish of dividing the people of Iran from one another to their graves. Imami Kashani said that unlike Iran's previous regime, which from a prejudiced perspective was trying to fan the flames of religious and ethnic differences, the Islamic system today looks upon all the people of Iran with the same eye and has on its agenda the fair distribution of all the nation's resources with sensitivity and care. He added, quote, The enemy is always scheming, especially now that they have realized to what extent the Islamic system has attracted the attention of the world to itself. Of course, in some Arab countries, which are mercenaries and in collusion with the enemy, they have fueled the Shia-Sunni issue because they rest their hopes on this. Iranian-American journalist Roxana Sabari arrived in Vienna on Friday from Tehran. Four days after authorities there freed her from prison and reduced her eight-year prison term for espionage to a two-year suspended sentence. The 32-year-old said she would soon recount her time in Tehran's Avin prison and her hunger strike in protest to her original sentence. These stories and more at televisionwashington.com.